Hello, everybody. My name is Benjamin Bloom. This is the Benjamin Bloom Football Channel. Please leave your bias at the door and join us for a hastily planned uh, watch along. I got up this morning. Sounds like the start of a nice uh, blues song or country and western song or something, doesn't it? Anyway, I got up this morning. Um, I got all my dearly departed stuff prepped, but I can't really do it until Brentford play later. Got all my review stuff prepped. I wrote most of my copy for my tribal football dot com review but again i can't finish that because there's two championship games um and then shaley went off with with baby to see great grandma and i thought okay the door is open the door is wide open here for me to watch barnsley versus sheffield united so that is exactly what we are going to do now uh, we're on the red button on skype so do remember sometimes there's a little bit of a lag on that. So really, really important today. We'll do the time sinks and we'll get everything and everybody um, lined up. But um, looking forward to this, two underachieving teams. Obviously, Barnsley have had that massive drop off under Marcus Shop since uh, finishing fifth in the table last season under Valerie and Ishmael. Yes, a lot of moving parts. We know a lot of mitigating factors, but uh, the table isn't looking very, very good. And a slow start, slow in the most obvious sense of the word, for Sheffield United. There's the table after yesterday's game, with the caveat, um, especially in Sheffield United's case, that Forest do play later. Um, but yeah, it looked like Sheffield United had turned a corner and now we keep talking about them sticking the car in reverse and reversing back around it because they're still down there in a team spot, three defeats in four games for Sheffield United. A quick little bit of basic maths tells us a Blades win uh, puts them up above Forest, who are in great form and are playing later, but they are playing Fulham. So we don't know what will happen um, there. Um, you can see with the goal differences, it's going to be tight, whatever happens by the end of the day. And God, look at that championship table. Luton in fifth on 21 points. Sheffield United with a win would be three points off fifth place. It's just insanely tight. I know we seem to say this every year, but this year, more than ever, Barnsley can head up to 11th in the table. And looking at that Cardiff goal difference, um, they would be going above them and out of the relegation zone and putting Cardiff into the relegation zone after indeed Cardiff lost for the eighth consecutive game yesterday and fired, fired, agreed by mutual consent, apparently, to um, part company with their now former manager, Mick McCarthy. Anyway, we'll get into the teams in just a second. Yeah, we're six minutes to kick off. We've got plenty of time, hopefully. Uh, please let me know. You can see me, hear me loudly, clearly. We'll say some hellos in the comments in just a jiffy. But our biggest hello is to our friend Luca. Um, Luca Bentley. Um, probably none too happy yesterday, little Luca, with Stoke losing at Millwall. Uh, he's our fan sponsor. Football is nothing without fans, no, nothing without football. Um, and you can see, given Luca's age there, we should say this has been set up very kindly by his father, Stephen. Uh, great supporters of the channel, Luca and Stephen. Right, before we get to teams, uh, let's say hi to um, some people. Uh, Tass. Brentford, Leicester. I can't find that on TV, my friend. So we won't be doing that one. Uh, hi to MDLH, uh, Peter, Ian. Uh, do I think this could be Shop's last game? Possibly. I mean, look, if they were to be three down at half time and lose 4 0 or something, then yeah, it could be all done by the afternoon. But who knows? Who knows indeed? Afternoon, Daryl. Up the blades. Uh, Callum, he's glad the 100%. No. You've got to keep that 100% home record. But there we go. Keep an eye on this one with us, uh, Callum, as well. No, we're not on Sky, Charlie. We're on the red button today, I think, uh, just going to Sky Sports Football. Um, and hit that red button. I think there's a match from Scotland on. Um, and the coverage starts in... Well, it should be starting any second now. Hopefully, we're all lined up properly on my screen. should be starting at 12.25 which is about now, so hopefully um, it will. Uh, Martin, welcome along. Uh, Ollie, not confident today as a blade. Just the sort of game will dominate and then find a way to lose. That has been a bit the case. Uh, let me know if your red button's kicked in. It looks like 
Mine is about to. It's just gone like that. Um, so hopefully they'll give us an image from Oakwell soon. Uh, AJ, uh, yeah, we're on the we're on the red button on whatever channel um, that I think was it St Mirren or something. Um, I don't have a picture yet. Hopefully I will get one uh, just soon. Um, afternoon, no Sarge. Uh, Wickham second. Yeah, you love it. I'm not so sure about that. Ipswich play Wickham. Um, I think. Two games uh, time. Welcome, uh, Phil, uh, Napper's mum. Uh, Charlie, am I watching Man United Liverpool later? I don't know. We'll we'll see what time the missus and the baby get home. Probably not. I suspect they'll arrive just as that one's starting. Uh, Russell, afternoon as a Barnsley fan. I'm predicting a Blades win. Uh, Matthew, so gassed, as the kids would say, mix gone. Who do you think will be the next manager? No idea. Absolutely no idea. They will have a look at the odds and whatnot. Afternoon, Gavin, uh, Anir, um, AJ. I know you're a good mate. Alex, I do know Alex. You know what? I, I owe him a me- He watched that me this morning. I actually need to message him back. I promise I will. Uh, David, welcome along. Um, let me know how your red button's going, guys, because um, I had an image there for one second and it very, very quickly disappeared. And now it's gone back to the screen telling me that coverage will start. Um, now it's flitted back um, again. So I'm going to be pressing some buttons furiously here. Um, let's see if I can do this. I've got two TVs here. So sometimes we have to be a bit crafty um, with getting the controller not to operate them both. Let's see if I can do that like that. And we'll get everything up and running for you, let's just say a few more highs to Scott um, in California at 4.25 a.m. Tremendous stuff. Right, I've got a picture. We may, um, we'll try our best here. We may just have um, one camera, um, one camera uh, in terms of the coverage there. Let me see if I can get it on the other screen as well on a bit of a delay so we can kind of see stuff twice uh so yeah just go to um sky sports football hd hit the red button um and you will get that um i've got a picture now um and we will do the teams i promise in just a sec let me just get it up on the other screen as well my apologies here with bimble in bimble is a good word. We're bimbling around. Let's get the team news up. Uh, let me just press select over there. And considering I'm a complete technophobe, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'll delay one screen 10 seconds or something, and then we'll we'll be able to see stuff twice. Right, there are your teams there up on the screen. For Barnsley in goal, uh, he's been excellent this season. Uh, is uh, Brad Collins. Um, Crikey, I've got one screen just ahead of the other, absolutely typically here. Um, A back three for Barnsley, uh, Moon, Helic, Civic. Just keep your eyes on that because you'll see Liam Kitching there um, is uh, down as a midfield player. Um, And we'll see where he indeed lines up. Styles and Britton. Last season's um, superstar wingbacks, both starting for Barnsley um, and uh, Kitching and Gomez, we think, um, in central midfield. Gomez definitely will be. I, I suspect it will be Kitching, but uh, so for score, um, it sometimes lies, doesn't it? Uh, Adebayo wide left, Freezer wide right, and Woodrow up top for Barnsley, the captain on the bench, Walton. Vita, Hondemark, Iseka, Allaire, Odur and Cole. So the two Belgian boys arriving in the summer, uh, both on the bench. For the Blades, uh, Olsen in goal, Bulldog and Stevens. Again, speaking of fabled um, fullbacks there, Chris Wilder's wingbacks. Uh, John Egan and Ben Davies are the centre-backs. Norwood and Fleck back together in midfield. I think Norwood didn't play in midweek in the home defeat against Millwall. 
Uh, now, we knew Gibbs White was not going to play, didn't we? Because he got himself suspended. So, uh, no McGoldrick. And look ahead, no Billy Sharp either. Um, interesting one there. Uh, so, Musse, Ndai, Osborne um, is the three off the front. Uh, that's generally been Osborne, and Ndai and Gibbs White. So, that's not too much different. McBurney, who I remember seeing play for Barnsley once. He went on loan. Um, from Swansea to Barnsley back in the day. Uh, McBurney starts up top. Bit of a rest for Billy Sharp. Typically, as in my article um, on Football 365, I'd made the key battle of today, Billy Sharp versus Michael Hellick. Typical. Absolutely typical. Um, Fotheringham, Robinson, Basham, Hurrahan, McGoldrick, Sharp, Rooster on the bench for the Blades. Uh, the referee is referee Ward. Um, and we have the players now um, coming around the centre circle and we are ready to go. Um, I'm going to plug that in as nil-nil. Um, again, like I suggested, we're on the red button, so there may be a small delay between real-time events here and what's actually um, happening um, on my screen in front of me. Uh, leave that with me and we'll do a couple of time sinks. Uh, McBurney v Hellick will be tasty too. Well, there you go, Alex. We hope so. Uh, the players take the knee in protest at all forms of discrimination, uh, those that choose to. And we are off in this one. Um, now, very annoyingly, I've got two screens up. And this one further along is about five seconds ahead of this one. Um, so <laughs> I think I'm going to, and it won't let me pause because it's red button. So I might be craning my neck over there um, a fair amount as um, Sheffield United come down the right-hand side with Endai fed inside to Norwood. Trademark switch of play by him. Down the left comes Stevens. Uh, and Britain gets the tackle off. Um, Barnsley wearing blue socks um, as a traditionalist. Not too sure about uh, that. Um, apologies if there's any spam um, in the chat. I will block as quickly as I can. Uh, treat spammers like streakers, everybody. Ignore them. Don't mention them or you're giving them exactly what they want. Uh, played down the touchline there, not out of play um, by, who was that? I think it's Ben Davies on the cover there. And we have a Barnsley throw. Let me know when you want a time stamp on this one. Apologies. I am going to be looking over there. You're going to see the side of my head um, a fair amount in this one. Uh, thrown down the line. Adepiejo, uh, charge down corner to Barnsley. Uh, we suspect, I haven't seen a wide shot yet, uh, that blades end, given the proximity, um, is um, going to be absolutely rammed full. Oh, let me put that one up. Uh, my apologies. Purple socks for Western Park Cancer. My sincere apologies. I wasn't aware that was the reason. And obviously, I do completely endorse that. So apologies if anyone was offended by me saying that's not traditional. I wasn't aware it was uh, for a cancer charity, which, of course, I'm sure you'll understand we all um, indoors. So nice job there. I said they were blue anyway, and they're purple. <laughs> uh, Asio knocks that one in. Um, big switch of play there, looking for Kitching, who is most definitely playing in midfield by Callum Britton. A uh, bit of a Hollywood pass, you'd have to say. And um, out it goes for a goal kick here. Uh, keep your comments uh, coming. Welcome, Jay. Uh, George, uh, Moussa up top with McBurney in at number 10. Well, we'll have a look at that in just a second. Um, but Barnsley are on the attack, so we can't really do that now. Uh, Fleck has won it back, though, for uh, Sheffield United. And it's pinged down the line. Uh, Moussa is furthest forward, but I haven't seen a... He might have just been 
tucking in from the uh, right-hand side there. So we'll have a look when they're actually in play. Here is Bulldog. Knocks it back to Olsen in goal. And Moussa from the flick on from McBurney. Moussa chasing in behind. Moussa hits the shot, drags it wide across the goal. Um, and I think uh, George might be right, um, actually. Uh, maybe Moussa is indeed the furthest forward, which means Ndai down the right and McBurney at 10. That might be a good call, um, George, in the chat there. Uh, what are we saying here? Scott, if he loses today, lost half his games. I'm sure he's talking about um, Jokanovic. Not a good record for a U1 parachute team. Um, not a good record for any team, really, but uh, it's been a slow start for sure, hasn't it? I've got to be kind to my neck here and not strain too much. So make sure I do uh, spin around. There you go, Stephen. It's in worse sides of heads before. Although I do have a very pronounced nose, which you'll all get the worst angle of. There we go. Vanity gone mad, hey? Uh, here's Olsen again. Blades now just getting hold of the ball. Remember those first minute and a half or so? Uh, Barnsley forced the corner and had a bit of territory, but um, it's moving in Sheffield United's favour, I would suggest, over the recent couple of minutes. Uh, his Fleck. Fleck goes back home. Is that... Back pass going to go short. Freezer chases in. It's not. Olsen whacks it clear. Uh, headed away by Moon. Um, all a bit messy at the moment. No one really sticking their foot on the ball and um, progressing it around the pitch. The game's pretty stretched and pretty direct at the moment. Here's a die in off the right. Um, in my Football 365 article, you can find the bet builder treble which did have Ilman Ndai as an anytime goal scorer. You can check that out on Twitter at Benjamin Bloom. See what's going on there. By the way, a quick plug as well. Hit subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. See if you can get us to 19,700 on the... Um, on the subscriber count, uh, we have got a corner to Sheffield United, which Norwood is heading over to take. Uh, so the bet builder treble was uh, and die to score any time, Sheffield United or draw, and goal scored in both halves, no. So one of the halves to um, not have any goals in it. Let's see how that one pans out, shall we? Quite good odds for that. Um, bit of a long shot. Uh, corner goes short to Bulldog, fires it into the far post, headed back across goal. But Collins, the Barnsley keeper, makes the gather. 6.23 on the clock here. Keep your comments uh, coming in. Uh, anyone know what happened at West Brom yesterday? Uh, two different medical um, emergencies in the in the stands there. Worth. Norwood to hit the first man, says Scott. He did not. He played it short and Bulldog crossed it in. So uh, there we go. Uh, anyone else's red button not working? I'm not going to tempt fate on that because mine is working. Uh, but yeah, just head to Sky Sports Football to the St. Mirren game and hit the red button. And you should be able to watch this one with us here in the chat. Seven minutes, six gone. I'd say Sheffield United are edging it. There's a ball in behind. For Indai to chase too much on that. And Collins sees it out for a goal kick. Is that the first woof of the afternoon? The first of many, no doubt. Uh, happy about Posh yesterday. Excellent stuff um, from the Posh this week. And we'll be dealing with all of that on the review show at 7 p.m. Uh, 7.40 on the clock here on my uh, screen. Uh, Norwood sticks that one over the top. Uh, it's going to run all the way through once again. Uh, McBurney furthest forward this time. Um, I think he's temporarily in the number nine position. Moussa dropping in. I'm sure that will change back. Uh, Egan heads away. Here's Ndai against Styles. Good feet by Ndai. Out to Moussa. He's pulled out right. Bulldog 
Uh, good press by Barnsley. Uh, there's the switch of play out to the left. Good football by uh, Sheffield United. Stevens, nice stuff by him. A little flip over the head. Um, really good stuff by Sheffield United. Uh, the first real bit passing of the game, you'd have to uh, say as well. As soon as I say that, they give it away. Typical. And here comes Woodrow on transition here. Woodrow, he's got support from the left. Ooh, he didn't, but he tried to poke it through for Freezer. Um, it was the right pass, actually. Um, I think they're all expecting the ball out to the left for Callum Styles. It did not come. And the one through the centre, um, had they been on the same wavelength, did look like it could have worked. Uh, there's one clip through the middle. Oh, goodness me, McBurney chases. Uh, Collins comes to the edge of the box, gets in a right muddle with Civic. Civic heads it past him. Fortunately, it wasn't on uh, target and the ball kind of dribbles uh, towards the touchline. But, yeah, not entirely um, the most convincing uh, communication there between Collins and um, Civic. Big kick by Collins all the way up onto the right wing, actually. Good kick. Um, kept in by Britain. Uh, Britain, can he find a crossing position? He can't. Adriejo helps him out. In it goes in the end. It's a poor cross uh, from the right-hand side, I think. Uh, was that Kitching helping out? I could be wrong, but easy one. Back into the arms of Olsen. Uh, big 50-50 there between Norwood and Styles. Styles wins it, and here comes Freesa. Freesa pops it into the middle, nearly breaks for Adebiejo, and Stevens calmly clears to Osborne. Um, Fairly even now for the past two, three minutes. Here comes Mousse down the left. Mousse has run his man into the box. Helic um, puts it across. It's going to go all the way over to Endai. Here comes Bulldog steaming forward on the overlap. Oh, nicely worked. It's Bulldog. Bulldog crosses low. And dare I say, Blades fans, that was incredibly Chris Wilder-like. Um, Bulldog all the way around the back. Um, and then the ball inside, and it doesn't go straight to the overlapping player, but via the narrow midfield. That was um, a move we've seen Sheffield United play many, many times um, over the last, well, in the successful times over the last few years. But uh, yes, didn't quite work out there. Uh, Bulldog put it in and the cross cleared away. Uh, the ball is back with Olsen. Uh, Olsen to Ben Davies at left centre-back and back again. Starting to rack up the possession now. 71% possession across the first um, 11. And, well, I'm up at 11.23 on my feed here. But I do understand we're on the red button. Um, and things do get a little bit laggy um, here as well. We'll try our best to keep up with everything. Uh, here is Kitching in the centre-back spot. Big switch of play by him. Nicely brought down by Woodrow. But the flag goes up. He is offside. I think everybody knew that was about to happen. <laughs> Don't mention his name, Ben. Still upset in thinking about it all. I know. I know. Uh, there's a big switch of play looking for Bulldog. And out it goes. Uh, Bulldog goes and fetches the ball for Callum Styles, who's going to take the throw in down the left-hand side. Styles. Uh, he knocks it back. It's a dreadful ball into the channel for Woodrow from um, the left centre-back position there. And... Uh, Woodrow ain't getting that uh, poor ball into the channel. Uh, Barnsley nil, Sheffield United nil, 12.38 on my clock. We do believe um, we may be around 45 seconds behind real-time events here. Uh, so do um, let me know if you want a time sync if you're watching on the red button. It's going to be another throw into Barnsley and to Callum Styles. Uh, just in front of Slav in the technical box. Styles takes his time. 
down the line it goes looking for Woodrow. John Egan, easy header away by him. And it's going to be Styles again. Woodrow, nice little knock inside. Adebiejo inside the box. Adebiejo, can he work the angle? Plays it across the goal. Open goal there, and it was cleared away, I think, by Davies. That was too easy for Barnsley. Um, Adebiejo working his way through and into the box. Cleared away. Um, bit of heart in mouth stuff for that big blades end there. Um, plenty of fans behind the goal worried a Barnsley player was going to tap that one in. Uh, here's Adebiejo again, and Dai does well on the cover. McBurney back helping. And it looks like Adebiejo um, with a tug back there on Ndai. And the free kick has been given. Barnsley nil. Sheffield United nil. Couple of openings now, 14 gone. Um, on both occasions, players getting deep into the box and trying to... Um, Stick the ball across the box. Bulldogs was um, fired over and cleared. That'd be Ajo Moore rolled his across and both cleared. No real um, efforts of note on goal. No shots on target in the game thus far. As you probably would have guessed before the match, Sheffield United 69% on the possession to 31. But everything... Um, Everything slow in terms of chances at the moment. Nil, nil. Throw in for George Bulldog down the left-hand side to Ndai. Bulldog grabs it back. Uh, Egan into the back four to Davies. And Stevens on halfway right over on the left-hand side. He tries to play the channel for Musa, who's definitely got the speed advantage on Helic, But as has proved just then... He doesn't have the strength advantage. Um, Helic just levering him off the ball there and it runs out. Um, but yeah, they've tried that ball a couple of times. Moussa uh, 1v1 with big Helic and he's got in um, behind. So maybe an avenue there that Sheffield United can um, exploit. Header away by Ben Davies. Keep your comments coming, um, guys. Uh, that one's hit forward to Frieser, uh, grabbed by Olsen, though. Here comes Bulldog, who's had plenty of the ball early on. Uh, he tries to fire it into the front. Um, not a great ball. Uh, here's Norwood. Norwood back in to Egan. And Davies. Egan. Uh, Bulldog. Uh, a bit of a hoik forward by Norwood. Oh, and Dai, brilliant touch by him. Turns that into a really good ball. Here's McBurney. McBurney to uh, Moussa. Really good stuff by Blades again. He tries to put it across. Um, John Fleck throws his arms up and says, what was that? It was a poor cross. Really lovely bit of football before that by Sheffield United. Two times now in this game, they moved the ball really nicely and nearly got round the edges of Barnsley but not quite. There was a lovely touch by um, Ilman and Dai in the build-up to that. But again, um, no shot on a goal. Uh, John, great following considering the awful kickoff time and exorbitant prices. Hey, I think, John, people are just um, happy uh, to be back in the grounds now. Uh, long kick forward. And um, yeah, Barnes are going to need to keep the ball better than that, given that Blades are racking up possession here, which is given straight back. Although Olsen does go long, uh, Civic with their header down. Stevens follows up. Uh, here's Osborne. Osborne feeds it back to Fleck. Davies to Egan to Bulldog. And in terms of possession, it's all Sheffield United here. And as soon as I say that, Ndai gives it away. And then Barnsley give it away, of course. Messy stuff. And it's back with. Olsen, a uh, big clearance down the ground by Olsen. Kitching heads on. Norwood and um, Moon, who may be in midfield rather than Kitching. Uh, we haven't mentioned Gomez's partner there. We were trying to figure out which of the Barnsley seems to be four centre-halves on the um, pitch, doesn't it? Would be stepping into midfield. 
it does look like it's moon rather than kitchen that we suggested um, at the beginning. His fleck inside his own box goes home to Olsen. Uh, big clearance up to Endai. And it's easily uh, helped back. 18-34 gone. And the ball is with Collins. Nil-nil. Collins into Civic. Civic pumps that one long. And again, Barnsley just really sort of flippant with possession here. Just giving the ball back. Uh, Egan wins that one in the air then. Uh, helped on by Moon. The offside flags up. Referee Ward sees it. And it's going to be a restart for Sheffield United. Which John Egan looks like he's going to knock down the ground. Yeah, he's just waving everybody forward. and uh, Trying to get Sheffield United up the pitch. Goes long from Egan. Looking for McBurney. Great flick by McBurney. Here's Osborne on the left wing. Holds it up. Osborne, good ball down the line. Can Stevens keep it in? Yes, he can. Looking for Mousse. A good play by Osborne and Stevens there. Mousse does well to get ahead of Britain. Here is McBurney. McBurney knocks it inside and it's hoiked clear by Callum Styles. Mousse, excuse me, Moise, Mousse, just in terms of his pace, is causing trouble um, at the back there for Barnsley. Just nipped in front of Callum Britton. That time he's done that twice to Helic as well. Uh, just need to get their passing completely on point here, Sheffield United. And it looks like there's something for them here in this first half. Not like that though. Given away, Kitchen knocks it into Woodrow. Woodrow looking for freezer, and uh, yeah, Barnsley really struggling to um, keep the ball. To be honest, uh, here's Bulldog. To Davies. We're coming up a quarter of the way through this one now. Davies. Stevens back home to Olsen. And it goes to Bulldog in the right back area. Closed down by Styles. Bounces up in the air off Styles. Headed down by Norwood. Little flick. Uh, Moussa second to that. Uh, Fleck goes through the back of his man. I suspect referee Wardle. Pull that back, yeah. Uh, the foul drawn by Moon. Uh, Fleck a bit late in that one. Wasn't too much in terms of, um, you know, yellow card risk. It's just a, not every foul is a is a yellow card. Contrary to what last season would have had you um, believe. Um, let's have a look here. Four dearly departed points to make Ben happy. Can we have some more from Brentford today as well? Uh, Moussa greater than trial, <laughs> says uh, James, um, <laughs> somewhat optimistically, I think. Uh, Bezzy, good afternoon to you. Come on, you tykes. Uh, they need it, don't they? Right, free kick, Barnsley. Um, let me look at the hatch in 24, 30, about 34 yards out. So it's probably not a shooting position. Helic, Adebayo, Woodrow, Freezer all forward. Oh, dear. He's much better player than that, Callum Styles. Terrible free kick by him. He's trying to put it to the right-hand side of the goal. It's a sort of uh, Millwall or Brentford style one where Pinnock or Cooper would run all the way over wide and then head it back across. But uh, just in terms of execution, um, Barnsley, hmm, not quite with it so far this game. We're a quarter of the way in, 22-22 on the clock. Fleck knocks that over the top and behind. And it's all the way through to Brad Collins. Barnsley nil. Sheffield United nil. Keep comments coming. Make sure you hit subscribe if you have not um, already. We're going to be back later, by the way, with a review show at um, 7 p.m. tonight. Where we'll probably speak for a short while on this game. Not that there's been a lot to say thus far. Still, no shots on goal 23 minutes in. I'd say the Blades have edged it, but yeah, there's no clear winner when there's been no shots on goal, really. 
is there? Unless that's me oversimplifying football, but hey, it's not a complex game sometimes, is it? Frieza. Frieza tries to play that one down the line. It's gone out for a throw. Uh, for Barnsley down the right. Which Britain will take down the line to Adebayo. Uh, flipped up in the air. Uh, McBurney, nice little header down. He's punched his weight in the air, McBurney. Now, Moussa in a foot race with Kitchen. That's excellent from Kitchen, uh, to be fair, because if he lets Moussa get the first touch on that, he's knocking that in behind him and running, and Kitchen ain't keeping up with him. But Kitchen straight in across, um, kind of tackles him with his wrong foot, to be fair, but it's a confident tackle and it's a good tackle as well. Uh, Stevens. Here's Osborne behind. Osborne clips that one in. It's a good ball as well. Where was McBurney there where you needed him? If he is back in the 10 position, maybe that was why he wasn't in the six-yard box. Here's Fleck anyway, left corner of the box. Fleck to Norwood, to uh, Bulldog, to Ndai on the right wing. Ndai comes inside. Nice feet in the end taken off him. Here's a Barnsley counter. Gomez. Uh, Gomez back in to Kitching, who looks for the ball again into the left channel. And uh, Frieza shrugs his shoulders and says, how the hell am I supposed to get that? Hey. Uh, Roy, um, do you think Leeds can pick up form after a slow start? Roy, we're going to talk about that. Or Ray, sorry, on Dearly Departed um, later on. Uh, watch alongs, super streams, preview shows, and rounds ups. Ben doesn't get the credit for the amount. Well, thank you very, very much. You can always give me more credit. I do get lots of credit, I have to say. People are very lovely on the internet, apart from the ones who think I've got weird agendas when I express um, an opinion that may be different to theirs or uh, tell the truth about their team when they're not playing well. But otherwise, people are very lovely. But you can always give me more credit. I'll take it. Uh, Dave. Oh. Get that picture off. Uh, come on. Um, what did you say? Come on, Barnsley. Uh, here is Moon. Moon switches it right again. An unforced error. And not surprised. I can see the Barnsley fans um, just in the main stand there saying, come on, guys. It's a simple pass. And they are just in that low confidence mode, aren't they, Barnsley, where they're not executing. Uh, Derry, remember two years ago when Bulldog was on the verge of getting an England call-up? Absolutely he was. Yeah. Uh, imagine 19 months ago, Blades was sixth in England. Yeah. Hey, look, they're probably not going to end up 18th in the championship, but it has been a drop-off since that ninth-place finish up in the Premier League. 26 gone, Barnsley nil, Sheffield United nil, Ben Davies to John Egan to George Bulldock, who I will probably call Sam Bulldock at some point during the show, standard. Uh, there's one into the channel, Moussa again causing trouble, um, it's headed away but not back to Ndai, Ndai deep into the box here, can they get the shot off? No, they've overplayed that, Sheffield United, I know it's a bit of an oversimplified um Oversimplification, if that's the word, simplification. Here's Bulldog into the box again. Uh, Styles just challenged from behind Bulldog and he went down. I don't think there was much in it. Uh, Osborne tries a reverse ball. Yeah, I don't want to be one of those Luddites in the stand that yells out, shoot, 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 shoot. Um, but yeah, stick your foot through it there, someone. Probably too, too many passes played. But hey, look, Sheffield United fans will know better than most under Chris Wilder. They rarely just knock the ball into the box. And it was always about creating the big chance rather than the difficult or taking on the difficult chance, the low percentage chance. There's a balance, though, isn't there? Gomez into Freesa and Sheffield United um, win it back. Here's John Egan at the back to Ben Davies. Uh, here is um, Styles. Styles. 
Godly Ryan, teams like Luton, eh? Luton fans, we love Luton. They're doing brilliant. You've got to stop this teams like Luton thing. When they're fifth in the table, enjoy them being fifth and take the chip off your shoulder about uh, people underestimating you in the past and enjoy it. Um, maybe a couple of years ago, but you've got, got to stop the teams like Luton thing now. Good club. Um, treat yourself so. And yeah, stop with that, I think. Obviously, you're entitled to say what you like, freedom of speech. But yeah, it feels a bit outdated now with Luton recruiting and doing um, so well. What's a shot? We don't like shooting in Sheffield. No, <laughs> apparently not. Uh, here is Fleck. Boots that up in the air and Dai and Styles battling it out. And Dai gets in front of Styles, does well, to be fair. Uh, and Dai inside to Norwood. Norwood on to Osborne. Osborne, Stevens overlapping. Good tackle by Callum Britton, who clears it down the line. It looks like they're one bit of quality away from making a big chance here, um, Sheffield United, aren't they? Uh, booted across it goes. Badger, really enjoy your knowledge of the championship. Um, thank you. Um, only followed since 2017. You helped me a lot. Legend. Thank you, Badger. Uh, Styles is going to take the throw in. He throws it down the line and it's cleared. Now, there's one in behind now. Oh, good goalkeeping by Collins again. Uh, reprising his sweeper keeper um, role from last season. Osborne made the run in. Uh, Collins right there on the edge of the box. And Stevens um, just getting a little bit roughed up there by Adebayo and conceding the corner. It looked like his body position meant he didn't need to do that, but he does um, sweep it out. A corner to Barnsley. Soon it'll be teams like Posh, hey? Yeah, I think just let opposition fans get on with it and get behind your own team and um, not worry about all of that stuff, hey? Fans know what their teams are, don't they? Uh, corner comes in, cleared away. No real threat from um, a Barnsley there. It's going to be another throwing down the left, which Callum Styles is going to take. Styles looking for an option. Woodrow trots over. And he throws it down the line looking for Adebayo. Hoiked up in the air by Bulldog. Uh, Gomez heads it down the line. And <laughs> Bulldog sticks his foot through it. Have it. Boots it down the ground. 50-50 uh, with Stevens and Britton there. Stevens misjudges. Britain into the channel for Woodrow. Again, it's a little bit optimistic, some of the passing from Barnsley. There's a lovely little one around the corner from Moussa to Osborne. Osborne inside to Norwood. Davies switch of play. Horrible ball by Davies. Given away to Styles. He tries to play it. Um, inside and then receive it back and it's over here um and other than probably three or four occasions of a little bit of good football um by Sheffield United it's been pretty low on quality I have to say is Davies Styles Out it goes for a throw-in on the right-hand side. Uh, McBurney has stepped back in and fouled Jasper Moon. Scott, called this earlier in the stream. Will be a boring 1-0. Either way, I'm waiting for the 1-0. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, is Woodrow not playing well or suffering with the team generally? I think more the latter delayed pilot, in my opinion, of, of course. Can cut an isolated figure up there, Woodrow, in this Barnsley team at the moment. Uh, free kicks cleared away, nodded back in by Civic. Uh, go, uh, Adriazo tries to win it back. Oh, there's there's a counter on here if they can work this. Yeah, here they come. Uh, Osborne down the left. He's helped it down the line, but it's a little bit ahead of Mousse and Kitching. Who's played all right, hasn't he, um, the centre-half? Uh, Kitchen comes across and kicks that one into touch. Throw in to Sheffield United. Stevens nicely worked with Osborne, and then Stevens, um, I think he's just tugged back on um, Callum Britton's shirt there, and it's going to be a Barnsley restart. 34 14 on the clock. Not great stuff here, I have to say. One shot in the game, zero shots on target. Um, neither side really creating anything yet. You give Sheffield United the edge, I think. Um, certainly in play, they've had the three or four moments of quality, but it's been pretty light on quality, I have to I have to say. Uh, which if you're a Barnsley fan, you'd probably think, oh, OK, we're not getting blown away here. Um or if you're a Sheffield United fan, you think, come on, this one's here for the taking. Uh, the optimism of football fans, they'll always find a way to persuade themselves um, they're going to win. Uh, here's Bulldog. Bulldog knocks that one back in to John Egan. Uh, welcome. Solid Pope. I uh, can't believe Blades fans... Oh, dear. <laughs> Bazzy's words, not mine. Uh, welcome all you lovely Blades fans who definitely have internet. This is the banker nil-nil. It's looking quite nil-nil-ish at the moment, isn't it? I have to say. But you never know with the championship. It does seem that we're looking for a set player or a mistake at the moment, I have to say. It's a free kick. To the Tykes, uh, just on halfway. Britain knocks it back into Collins' feet. Uh, Collins just steps sort of 40 yards out from goal and boots that down the ground. Not very accurately either. Here's Osborne. Uh, Osborne, Civic gets a touch on it. Moon up in the air. Freeze around the corner. Someone put your foot on it, for Christ's sake. Uh, here's Fleck. He's done just that. And Egan boots it into the channel and Collins gathers it. I hate to say it, this half is deteriorating now. We want less passages of play um, like that, I have to say. But um, if not, we are heading for that scenario of nil-nil or a set player or a mistake, um, which is not how I want to spend my Sunday afternoon. So come on, guys, get your act together. Um, and as soon as I say that, back to front from Civic, all the way over everyone through to the keeper. Poor. Uh, here is Bulldog in the right back position. Both teams dragging each other down to a uh, lowly level here. Um, here's Ndai down the right. Takes on Kitchen. Good play by Ndai. Ndai puts it into the box. And ladies and gentlemen, we've had a shot on target. Uh, Musa completely doesn't get hold of it. But um, good bit of play by and die to take on Kitching, who's looked all right in the first half. And Mousse gives us the first shot on target in the game. Here comes Norwood down the right. Norwood, oh, clever attempted ball in by him. Curves it all the way around the back. Um, Civic on the cover. Um, just nicks it off Mousse. You have to say Mousse has been a threat um, trying to run in. Um, behind. Didn't get his finishing right at all, though, a minute ago. Uh, we have Billy Sharp and Rian Brewster on the bench, amongst others. Dave McGoldrick, I think, as well. Uh, here's Bulldog to Ndai. 
Oh, God. And Day tries a two-yard pass to Bulldog, and it goes out for a throw-in. Um, and I was just about to say, and Day had been one of the um, better quality players, I have to say. But, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Styles throws it down the line. And, oh, my God. Come on, guys. Um, uh, just a hoof over the top by, um, I think it was uh, Moon from the deep central midfield position. And it's given away again. Um, trying to give you some numbers on this one. Yeah, Barnsley have only made 62 accurate passes in the half so far. Uh, Adebayo knocks it on to Freezer. Here's Adebayo now down the left, inside to Freezer. Let's keep optimism levels up high that this not very good game is going to improve. And it goes into the box, headed goalwards onto the roof of the net by um, Moon arriving in the box. Couple of shots, ladies and gentlemen, in the last um, two and a half minutes. You'd wanted Woodrow to be arriving on that rather than Moon, I have to say, but. It's an attempt on goal for um, for Barnsley, isn't it? Over the bar. Am I being too optimistic um, with this one? Uh, Ollie, Moose has got to be the most frustrating player I've seen at the lane. Bags of talents, but no substance. I mean, that's probably a fairly good um, read of his game today, actually, Ollie. Um, he looks dangerous. But that one chance he managed to get just scuffed it from the cross from the right. Styles takes the throw in. Uh, turned over quickly. Norwood, nice ball into Osborne. Here's Fleck. Fleck to Stevens. Stevens into Moussa, given away. I say given away, well won by Helic, to be fair. Um, uh, Adebiezo just gets goal side of his man. Um, he's brought down by Fleck, was it? Or was it Norwood? My bad. Uh, Godly Ryan, a £2 super chat. Thank you very, very much, um, sir. Um, on the basis of this game, that's danger money from Godly Ryan because it hasn't, it hasn't been great, has it? Um, but thank you very much, uh, Ryan, for the super chat. Here is... A free kick to Barnsley then. Britain, I think he's going to try and ping this into the back post. No. Slid down the line for Adebayo. 1v1 with Fleck. Oh, Adebayo cuts it back. It finds its way through to Woodrow and uh, Norwood just sticks his foot through it and gets it clear. I thought they were going to get a bit lucky there with the cutback on the edge of the box. Uh, where's the coffee, Ben? I think we'd go, um, we'd go red wine on this one, won't we, um, <laughs> Jay? If if Shaley sees me at um one fifteen drinking red wine on a Sunday, I will be in trouble. Uh, we're gonna get a restart for Blades. I don't know where the hell Olsen's gone. He's out of shot and he's just knocked the ball back in to Egan. Should have done St. Mirren V Rangers. I don't know where any of the players are around here. I'd struggle with that one, um, I have to say. Apologies for my attire today. I always get in trouble when I throw on a pair of shorts. No one wants to see my legs in the video, do they? Look away now for those of a nervous disposition. It's quite nice here in Bedfordshire, I have to say. Uh, here's Fleck. Knocks it in uh, to the left-back, Stevens. Back to Fleck. Uh, Fleck on to Norwood. Good play by Fleck, the Scottish international. Here's Bulldog. Bulldog into Moose, and it just needed the ball around the corner to Ndai, and they couldn't quite pull that one off. Ooh, a bit of a hefty one from Fleck there, and I make that his third foul now. Fleck's giving it the old chestnut. I took the ball, ref, but we know you can't fly in from behind now and rough the player up. That's been a rule for the longest time, hasn't it? It doesn't matter whether you take the ball or not. If you endanger the play, you're going to get a foul given against you. Here is Adebiejo. Uh, tries to take on um, 
Ben Osborne. Well, I got out of that one. I was going to say Ben Davies there, and they luckily had the same Christian name. Nice. Uh, can we call this the Fulham Cup? Uh, Woodrow, Norwood and Slav, if you like. Uh, Fulham play later, actually, in uh, what may be a more entertaining game than this one. Inform Forest against free scoring Fulham. In comes the corner from Barnsley. Good head by McBurney. Um, one of the other positives of this half, um, McBurney has definitely punched his weight in the air, hasn't he? Um, Britain skews that one and then wins it back. Freesa in a foot race with um, Davies, which he wins. Davies getting a bit handsy there in the box. Be careful. And then Dai, um surely has fouled uh, Britain. Oh, good advantage there, to be fair, by referee Ward. Um, he lets the play go. It goes into the box. Had a Biagio on the near post gets there first. I wonder whether in their current state, um, Barnsley would have preferred the free kick. But uh, well played referee Ward there. Let's the advantage go. I see so much criticism of refs. We will praise them when they get something um, right. Uh, we're coming up half time. 44.32 in my feed. We may be about 45 seconds behind the reality of the world because we're on the red button and the feed is always a little bit behind, um, even on a TV signal here. There's a big diag for Styles to chase. Bulldog is going to attempt to shepherd that one out. Um, Styles a little bit too frisky with him, um, just knocks him behind and down he goes. I suspect there will be no more than one minute of stoppage time. And frankly, guys, I don't want to see more than one minute of stoppage time. This has not been good. In fact, well done, referee Ward. He's my hero. No stoppage time. And we are done. Um, I don't want to put the boot in here. That wasn't good. Um, not a good half at all, really. Um, Barnsley look completely devoid of confidence, I have to say. And... Um, they look very nervous anywhere near the final third. And simple things that these players are more than capable of pulling off are, are going wrong. Uh, to give some credit, Sheffield United, where there has been good football, it's been played by Sheffield United. A couple of um, nice little manoeuvres down the side, a la Chris Wilder, if I'm allowed to mention him without upsetting all the Blades fans. Um Moussa looks a bit of a danger running in behind, but they haven't joined that up yet. McBurney's punched his way in the air. Kitching looks like he's playing fairly well at centre-back for Barnsley. Moussa's definitely got legs on Helic, hasn't he? But um, they haven't really capitalised. And to be honest, it's been low on quality. And I'm, I'm being nice, I have to say. Um, it's been a pretty dull watch. To be honest, but thank you lot in the chat for making life interesting. Um, the attack momentum graph there says it's been in the main um, uh, Sheffield United with the ball. But look at the lack of activity. One shot on target per side. Um, very low on the passes. Um, yeah, look at that. Um, between them, they've lost possession uh, 209 times um, in the half. Um, which is, yeah, it's not it's not been good, has it? Uh, let's have a look at the live league table and then we'll go to your comments and whatnot. Uh, Sheffield United, as things stand, with this point, would um, move um, in line there with Birmingham and uh, Bristol City, move above them, in fact, on the goal difference. Though I'm sure we're not going to get many Blades fans in the chat who are going to be happy with 16th after... 14 games, uh, mitigating factors or not, that's not good. Barnsley, would they would they take a draw given they're on a losing streak here? I don't know. What they do know, Barnsley, is a win. will take them out of the bottom three and stick Cardiff in there. We don't expect Cardiff to be stopping around in the bottom four given the respective quality of their squad with others down there. But, hey, you are where you are for a reason. Um, let's go to some of your comments. <laughs> Deary me, uh, Matthew, don't mention Chris. I know it's a bit raw, isn't it? Uh, Derry's giving it a big meal. We'll give it one of those. Uh, Ollie, believe it or not, we were worse first half v Millwall. 
just in context, we do have to say Sheffield United are the better side here. But I do take Ollie's um, point that it's not been a great um, performance, hasn't it? Uh, surely best game of the season so far. Yeah, it's not been good, has it? Um, the baby's not come with nappies in the 12 month of Pinot Noir. Yeah. Put it this way, I don't need it to get to sleep as well. Uh uh, Ritu, if I'm pronouncing that right, wants to see Honda Mark and Iseka in for Moon and Adebayo. Moon's having a go in central midfield, um, not massively successful. I don't think adebayo has been terrible. Uh, retail, he's had a, he's he's got up against the um, the uh, back four for Sheffield United. Frieza on the other side, I have to say, has cut a frustrated figure because. Probably six times in the game, the ball's been booted into the channel above his head, nowhere near him. Um, uh, Vitor, this Sheffield team created very little. Well, I can't, I can't argue with that. Uh, the ref is like I've seen enough. I think we all had after the um, after the fair. What a die half of football. Neither side deserves three points. I do agree with um, that, uh, Scott. I'm going to put his comment up, but I'm not going to read it because I don't want to get into trouble. But he has a fair point, uh, doesn't he? Uh, Bok, a good point for Barnsley, all things considered. Finn, we're on the red button. On If you stick on the St Mirren game, uh, we're on the red button. Uh, Chris, both sides low on confidence. Uh, Sheffield United have had the more coordinated, dangerous-looking attacks. And Dai looking better than McBurnie and Mousse. Uh, for Barnsley, Adviejo, Dunwell, Woodrow and Frieza. Poor, there we go. Chris has found um, some analysis of a poor um, game. Uh, that's a good point by the original United there. We never looked like scoring without Morgan Gibbs-White. It should be mentioned, though, Morgan Gibbs-White. Not around today. He got himself suspended after being red-carded in the game for the Blades against Millwall in midweek. Uh, LJ, that boring. I might go to sleep. I know what you mean. It's not been good, has it? It's not been good. Has the manager ever been sacked at halftime? I don't know. Wasn't there one who got sacked... On the bus or something, or before we got to the bus and didn't know there was a really weird one a couple of seasons ago. But there we go. Um, Millwall tube. Do I reckon Millwall can um, sneak into the top six come the end of the season? I really don't know. There's not much point at the moment when you see six teams all tied on 21 points. It needs to shake itself out, doesn't it, at the moment? Just so, so tight. Um uh, you know, you've got these sort of parachute teams at the top and the teams, you know, your likes of Coventry have, you know, had a really good start as well. And then you look down and you're like, I don't know, can anyone go two points per game for even seven games? You're probably going to be in the playoffs come the end of those seven games. Um, very, very open at the moment. Derry, legend, new subscriber, brilliant channel. Thank you very, very much, Derry. You're very, very welcome, sir. Thank you for the £5 super chat. Uh, what are we calling it today? Danger money. Keep me awake money for a not very entertaining um, game um, so far here. Um, Steve, a draw would be like a win for Barnsley, but it shouldn't be enough for Slav to keep his job. Um, I think in terms of Slav, I don't think he's in danger yet of a quick culling. What I will say is we do get the November international break um, the weekend of the... Hang on, one, two, three. Uh, which one is it? The weekend of the 13th and the 13th, I think. I think there's a three-game week um, next week, the 29th through to the 6th and the 7th. Um so, yeah, you could imagine three defeats and he may be in trouble. Um, I wouldn't have thought yet. Uh, did you see the Sheffield United preview programme? Um, I I did not, Roy. Um, post a picture somewhere, someone. Um, uh, Mark, maybe Blaze needed to be raining. Seemed to be better when it rains. Hey, you're never far from some rain in Barnsley. Oh, yeah. Uh, Glenn. Uh, afternoon, Ben. Wonder why we never get on the box. Just not good enough. It's not normally down to how good you are, um, Glenn, as to whether you get on the box or not, to your club size and how many people are watching. 
which will be plenty when it comes to a club of um, Sheffield United size. So maybe not. Um, uh, there you go. Posh, seven points off the plus. There you go. Sometimes it's not the amount of points you are from wherever you need to be. It's the amount of traffic in the way that's the um, that's the issue. Um, Olsen completed more passes in the first half than any other Barnsley player. Well, there you go, Annie. Hector, Reem, Hector, Reem, one of those. Uh, Coventry, surely the surprise of the season so far. You would think so in terms of league position, but you've got you to gotta say, who had Bournemouth with... 14 games unbeaten and 10 wins from the first 14. They've been um, tremendous, uh, haven't they? Uh, I'll put that one, Ross. I'll put that one to the chat, actually. Um, let me know your picks for the new Cardiff manager. I think Steve Morrison's in temporary charge. Um, but big names. And I'm sure the Blades fans will have heard a certain Chris Wilder being mentioned for that one as well. If a game is a poor draw, can it be changed to half a point each? I'm sure that will have been suggested at some point by someone. Uh, scoring draw, you get um, you get a point for, but you don't get any points for a nil-nil draw. Zero, zero to both, hey? That would get some teams attacking, wouldn't it? Uh, John, thing I'm most surprised about is Sheffield United looked nothing like a Slav team. Uh, should have seen signs of the style of play by now. Yeah, I, I mean, you're right, John. You're normally right, to be fair. But what I would say is there are signs. Um, but I've seen three signs of it in 45 minutes. So I take your point and I would just um, push back consistent signs. Um, but yeah, not not enough signs of it um, for sure. Um, Slav should be replaced by Wilder. Not well, Mr. Prince Abdullah's there. I don't think that one is happening. Uh, double sleeping game, says um, Mark. Yeah. Um, Blades and Cardiff surprised me. Rough starts to the season. Absolutely. Uh, Wilder, Billich. Wilder. Oh, yeah, Billich is available. The only problem with Billich is he's so damn expensive, isn't he, after um, going to work in... Where was he? UAE or China or somewhere? I can't remember. So was Slav, to be fair, but um, there you go. Um, Jack, couldn't believe how poor Bristol City were yesterday. They went under... 3-0 uh, at West Brom. He adds, uh, Blades really need to start picking up points before they drift away before January. Uh, get Big Sam down at Cardiff. Now, of course, you know I would love Big Sam um, in the championship for me to be able to cover on the channel, but I don't think he sees himself as a um, bottom end of the championship manager, uh, does he? Probably rightly so, to be fair. Uh, can't uh, Francis can't see um, that sacking Ukanovic would make any difference. This team is largely Wilder's signings. Um, didn't end up playing well for him either. Fair point, actually. Fair point. Um, unsavory scenes at the Derby Cov game. Um, what's going? I don't know, Tom. Anyone was anyone at that game uh, yesterday? Can let us know. Um, uh, Asia, um, if I'm pronouncing your name right, my bad. Um, also known as Lady Blade. Uh, we just aren't good enough at the moment. We just don't seem to be playing like Bladesman. Come on, guys. Time to focus. But in fairness, don't think Team Happy under Slav, which never ends well, really. Uh, does it? Should have kept the baby at home, Ben. Guaranteed 90 minutes of peaceful sleep. To be fair, um, Auntie Allison is over at um, Great Grandma's. So I think it's more Shaley gets an hour off, bless her, and Allison will look after Little Enid, who has been a good girl this morning, I have to say. Um, Alex Neal is the manager, sort of manager. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good, good hire, actually, wouldn't it? Um, good age, knows the division very, very well. Um, why don't I take the Cardiff job, Ben? Um, you know what? I'm quite happy just sitting here talking about football. God, can you imagine how bad a football manager any of us would be? Um, good luck to the guys that take on um, the jobs. Um, what else are we saying in the chat? Um, there we go, Tom. I was at Derby Cov. Uh, fans broke uh, the segregation. Was that just one of those, um, what would you call it? Put some kind of sheeting down. If you get a few people want to get past that, they normally can, can't they? Um, bottles thrown, fighting when Derby scored, all kicked off. Not good. Hey, not good. Um, unfortunately, for the people that want alcohol back, served during games, the more um, 
uh, moments like that, the less likely that is to happen, frankly. Far worse outside. Not good. Not good. Uh, I think Alex Neal is the obvious candidate. Um, uh, low Manning may be given a chance. It's difficult, isn't it? Because if you are um, Ryan Lowe and you're doing really well at Plymouth, um, and you might be taking Plymouth up this season, um, but you might also think, well, you know, it's a big club, Cardiff, and uh, is the potential opportunity at Cardiff much bigger than the one at Plymouth? And it's all always timing. Look, um, whilst Plymouth are outperforming the likes of Sunderland, Pompey, Ipswich, Oxford, um, all those big clubs, Wigan um, in League One, he's always going to be linked with these jobs, isn't he? Uh, would Farker come to the Blades? Um, I don't know. Do you think he's going to be getting fired? Um, he's certainly scored a lot of points at championship level, hasn't he? Um, not a bad shout there, actually. Uh, Chris, uh, rather like Cardiff yesterday, Barnes down the shop have individually and collectively lost all confidence. It does seem to be a confidence thing, Chris, when I see decent enough players who were doing the things we expect them to do last season, just not doing them this season. Um, there you go. Front three look like they've never met uses of ball in midfielder Paul. And there we go. Uh, Gary Monk for the Cardiff job. He'll be back. Don't you worry. He will be back indeed. I don't know if an ex-Swans manager would go in, but hey, I think most of those barriers have been uh, broken down. Uh, Gareth Ainsworth, that's a good shout, actually. Considering the playing squad, he'd get the best um, out of them. Uh, Paul Warren. There we go. Lee's in there. Warren's not going... Not going nowhere. People get very defensive about their managers. Um, yeah, I think when uh, Warren didn't decide, I think he had a long think about it, Paul Warren at Rotherham, didn't he? Um, and he's staying in there at Rotherham and he's um, obviously on his way to becoming a club icon there, isn't he? Uh, Michael Flynn, for good way, he's free and available as well, isn't he? Here comes Marcus Shop, indeed, just chatting away with um, Corley Woodrow giving his captain some last minute, um, I'll beg your pardon, it's a different member of staff talking to Woodrow Shop, he's just walking a few steps ahead. My bad, my bad indeed. Um, great results for Dearly Departed Watford yesterday. Matt, we will be on it uh, later on. Um, Gordon's watching in New Zealand. Um, go you Reds. Um, yeah, let us know where you're watching from and who you are behind. Um, <laughs> Derby fans were angry because the seats were facing the pitch. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, right, let's just do a quick little reset here and give you the teams as we go into a second half that we hope is going to be a tad more entertaining than the not very good first half, I have to say. For Barnsley, it's Collins in goal, Sibic, Helic, Kitching, Styles and Britain wide. Uh, Moon and Gomez, Central, Adebayo and Frieza wide of Woodrow. For the Blades, Sheffield United, Olsen in goal. Bulldog and Stevens fullbacks. Egan and Davies centre-backs. Norwood and Fleck double pivot. Um, and Dai right, Osborne left. McBurney 10. Uh, well spotted that by George, I think, early on. And Moussa, um is the furthest forward. And off we go into the second half. Let me know... If you do indeed want a timestamp in this one, um, again, it can be very laggy on the red button. So we're pretty sure that we're not quite lining up with um, real time very well. I think we're about 45 seconds behind what's actually going on. So let me know if you want a timestamp um, at all. Matthew watching from Australia. Um, Satch. USA, go Reds. Hey, you're all over the place, um, you lot. Um, who's that? Neil in um, Tasmania, Australia. There we go. Nice shorts. Yeah, I just couldn't be asked to get dressed today. What are you going to do? I'm in the main covered up by the, by the thing. But unfortunately, if you do that, you are going to see a pink pair of shorts uh, with a blue top. And frankly, um, I think I've got like a maroon t-shirt on underneath as well so definitely got dressed in the dark today focus on the football not my attire never the right thing to do 
Uh, 46-20 gone. Looks like the ball's bouncing back to front and we're not missing much. Throw in for Callum Britton in the right back position. Uh, Britton tosses it down the line, headed away by Stevens, helped on by Bulldog. Adebayo on halfway, slips in between two. Nice little knockoff by Woodrow. Here's Adebayo down the right, still going. Egan overcooks the challenge. Adebayo crosses in, falls to Woodrow, hits the shot first time. And I would say that's the best chance of the game for Barnsley. Possibly the best chance of the game, that, for a player of Woodrow's quality. Um, it's headed away. He's arriving from right to left and he hits the shot on the half volley with the left foot first time. More than capable of sticking that in one of the corners, uh, but scuffs it a little bit. Um, symptomatic, maybe, of the lack of confidence most of the Barnsley players are playing with. Adam Biagio crosses it to the back post. Frieza can't control. Styles is going to come help him out. Styles tries to beat Indai. Indai does well, gets his body in the way and a um, saucy little back heel there from um, Ndai. Uh, let me know um, if you're watching at any point West Ham and Spurs or Brentford and Leicester. I think they're both kicking off in about 25 minutes or so. Uh, here is Osborne. Good back heel by him. Lovely um, little slight by McBurney, but two men on him and they win it back in the end. And there's a foul on... Um, John Fleck by Claudio Gomez in central midfield. There, Norwood takes the free kick quickly. Out it goes to um, Egan and then Bulldog down the right. Uh, Moussa is pulled all the way over to the right. He tries to pop the crossover um, and it is charged down. 48-25 on the Clark, Ben, you're the only person I know that can pull off those colours. I think um, a lot of people would like me to pull off these colours and put more sensible colours on. But um, my days of giving a crap about what anyone thinks about what I wear are long since gone. So I'll take it as a compliment. Um, uh, John uh, Badger is in Wisconsin, USA. Ollie, deepest, darkest, Anglesey. Nice. Um, right, Joel, we'll get your timestamp. Um, we'll try and do you one at 50 minutes if I remember. Here is Fleck about 30 yards out. Fleck switches it out to Stevens. Stevens on the left wing cuts inside. Stevens crosses right footed. Uh, Gomez dangles out a leg. McBurney recycles Osborne. Osborne crosses left footed to the back post. And Dai arriving. Uh, it's swept up now by Norwood. Shot hit, deflected onto the roof of the net. It's going to be a corner um, stepping in from the right-hand side there. Um, I think it was Ollie Norwood, and the shot just takes a deflection um, and lands on the roof. Do you know what? I think it was John Egan, actually, um, who was well, well forward. Uh, corner to the blades. It's going to be a right footer from Norwood. In it goes. Oh, hell, it gets eyebrows on it near post. Um, and it's gone all the way out for... Um, oh, do you know what? I think it must have gone out of play before it came back in. And it's going to be a goal kick to Barnsley. Apologies. Um I didn't get the time sink in. We are at 50.24 um, on the clock. Here comes the kick from Collins. Uh, Stevens sort of wins it. Osborne into the channel and Dai against Helic And Dai cuts inside. Sorry, Moussa. Moussa curls it into the corner. And we have the opening goal. Uh, we said set play or mistake. No, bit of quality, actually, by Lise Mousse. Sorry, I said it was in Dai. It went down the um, left-hand side, and Mousse was 1v1 with Helic. I think we've lost him in the crowd here somewhere. Mousse comes in. Um, he's coming in horizontally, then um, cuts back a little bit and curls a lovely shot in to the far corner. It's Barnsley nil. 
Sheffield United won. Lise Mousse with the opening goal. Um, I can't say it was coming. I can't. I genuinely can't. But it's a bit of quality there by Mousse rather than the set play or the mistake we expected. Uh, referee Ward, unfortunately, has to book Mousse, who jumped in the crowd after he scored. Limbs in the Sheffield United away end. And the Blades lead, and I, I hate to say it, um, on the basis of the first 50 minutes, it, you, you would think they would now go on and win the game because Barnsley have just been so devoid of confidence. And now Mousse has given uh, Blades the lead. Uh, it's not forward and Woodrow immediately fouls Ben Davis um, there. Uh, Moose, uh, indeed, um, get in there. Uh, remember, we're slightly, slightly behind um, the real world events here because uh, we're watching on the red button. Big one forward, uh, Diag there. Uh, Fleck wins it back. McBurney goes 50-50. Nice little turn by Steven. Stevens clips it in, headed away by Helic, headed back on by Egan. Um, eyebrows there. And here comes Osborne into the box down the left. Osborne crosses it in and it is 2-0. Oh, we said about the confidence and Lise Mousset has scored again. It's good work by Osborne, but uh, Barnsley have just crumbled now, haven't they? I said... As soon as that first goal went in, you can't see them finding a way back. Um, uh, stick a fork in them now. 53 gone. Um, by the way, Lise Mousse could be on for a very, very, very quick hat-trick now. He scored twice in um, about two minutes. Well played, Osborne down the left. And uh, Michael Hellick is trying to rally the players as they line back up for the kickoff. But... Um, yeah, Barnsley and um, Marcus Shop. Well, maybe that's an alliance that's not long for this world. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Barnsley nil, Sheffield United two. Moose again, uh, two nil. And um, yes. Could be uh, P45 time for Mr. Marcus Shop. We are now game 14 and it's going to be another defeat by the looks of it and one win in 14. Goodness me. Uh, let's have a look at the live league table. We'd added all of this up before the game, but given how Barnsley have played in this one and now the two goal advantage for Sheffield United, I don't want to tempt fate, but... Um, this may well be the um, end position here. Uh, Barnsley still on only eight points. And what you do need to take into account is that were it not for Derby and a 12-point off-the-pitch penalty, um, Barnsley would be the worst team in the league, wouldn't they? But Derby um, can lay claim to 17 points on the pitch, but the off-the-pitch um, administration, meaning they're on five Sheffield United will move up to 18 points. Remember, as soon as Forest kick off, uh, we can stick a point on for them against Fulham and they will go level. But Barnsley, 2-0 up. Um, a real bit of quality from Lise Mousse, who is obviously the standout uh, candidate for the man of the match now uh, for the first goal. Brilliant goal, the first one. And, yeah, they just got turned around and uh, Osborne at it. Down the left-hand side, gets the cross in. Mousse sticks it home. Bang, bang. Barnsley nil. Sheffield United two. A free kick, though, to Barnsley on the right-hand side. Which Corley Woodrow is going to take. Uh, referee Ward is just going to measure out the 10 yards. And it looks like um, Lee Smoose was actually standing in the right place, much to Woodrow's protests. Right, in it comes from Woodrow, then right-footed. He's holding up one arm. Where's this one going? We're not going to find out because referee Ward is having a word. 
in the centre with some pushing out of pulling. Right, here it comes. Uh, Woodrow puts it back stick. McBurney heads away easily. And here comes another counter for the Blades. Oh, Musay could be in again. Oh, they've played the one-two. Um, here is... Oh, it's the wrong pass, wasn't it? Um, it's not back to Musay, though, in the box. And if they play that one right, that would have been 3-0. Um, quick counter from the corner. Musa played it back out to Ndai when if the ball comes left, I think it was Osborne um, arriving, would have been completely um, open and in. Uh, Russell, I forecast a draw or a Big Blades win here. Uh, here comes the Big Blades win and bye-bye for shop. Um, only saving grace, says Retail, uh, means that clown gets sacked. His words, not mine, but um, yes, it gets more and more likely with every poor result for Marcus Schott. Uh Bring on Didzy. Yeah, I suspect we will see uh, possibly Brewster McGoldrick. Here's Moussa wants the hat-trick, though. Here's Fleck onto Osborne. Osborne crosses low. Oh, goodness me. All the way across the box. Moussa had pulled back onto the edge of the area. McBurney tried to get in. And uh, Sheffield United really... Um, really could put a score on the board here. They've had another two openings since they went 2-0 up and it just looked like looks like Barnsley a shot at the moment, doesn't it? Uh, not comfortable to watch, really, because they look totally um, devoid of any confidence whatsoever here. I think we're getting a sub, possibly. Uh, we have, um, unfortunately... The coverage is not great here. Uh, Devante Cole has come on, but they didn't even um, show the touchline. So I can't tell you who went off. I'm guessing Victor Adebayo. Um, I think that may be the case. Um, yeah. Yeah, Freezer is still on. So apologies. The uh, red button coverage didn't even cut to um, the subs bench there. But it is Devante Cole on for Victor Adebayo. Uh, greasy chip party. I'd give Rian some game time. Yeah, he may be able to fill his boots, get some goals. Uh, I know they've been in short supply since he's been at Sheffield United. But uh, this one looks open as things stand. Things can change, of course, can't they? But certainly the next goal looks more likely a Blades goal on the basis of the last five minutes than a Barnsley goal. Uh, no disrespect to Barnsley, says Oli, but if Brewster is ever going to come on and get some confidence, uh, today could be the day. Uh, here is Styles to Moon. Moon to Britain. Britain tries to cross it, deflects off Stephen. Styles come in ever narrower, Callum Styles. I think he feels he wants to try and influence the game a bit more centrally. Oh, and here comes another Blades counter. Musse lays it off. They're away down the right hand side. A game uh, crossed in low, Musse, and it's a spill by the keeper. And They've genuinely had three really good openings now at uh, Sheffield United since they went 2-0 up. I think that was McBurney heading down the right-hand side there, put the cross in. And, yeah, Musse, he fancies the hat-trick and it looks like he could, he could be getting it um, today. Dotty, oh, Barnsley, we love you. Unfortunately, Dotty, they need all the love they can get at the moment. Um, Barnsley, they look very um, shell shocked. Um, here comes a substitution. Again, um, we probably won't see the touchline, but I see number ten, uh, Billy Sharp, has come on. Uh, some instructions going over to the right back area. Um, again, sincere apologies. They literally. They've just got the camera on the ball the whole time. Um, so I don't know whether Musa has been taken off. Um, we'll find out imminently. Yeah, so Musa is not going to be getting a hat-trick 
today. Uh, but number 10, who's he indeed? The fat lad from Sheffield um, and the gold machine from Sheffield. In fact, Billy Sharp is on. Uh, so he's going to play number nine. Um, McBurney will continue to be sat behind him. And um, uh, Lee Smoose has gone off. So Ilman Ndai is going to be staying down that right-hand side. Barnsley nil, Sheffield United 2. 62 minutes on the clock. Uh, Blades looking comfortable now. Barnsley desperately need a goal from somewhere. I'm just not sure from where. They've been very, very shy um, in front of goal. And in this game, uh, particularly not really look like scoring that chance for Woodrow, I think was as close as um, as it was going to get. 65% uh, possession, Sheffield United. Uh, only three shots to two on target, but the game's really... This second half has been very one-sided, you would have to say. Uh, the GOAT, says Pete. Thank you very much, Pete. Although I'm sure you're talking about Billy Sharp. Uh, Matt, as a Barnsley fan, uh, this is horrible. We can't even vote for an October goal of the month. So we haven't been near the opposition goal. Not good. Uh, not good indeed. Uh, Moose can only do an hour uh, for his awful injury record. Well, it's a good hour, wasn't it? Stuck the ball in the net um, twice. Uh, Britain crosses it in, looking for Cole on the near post, but um, well blocked out. Osborne does well in the left-back position. Uh, knocks it off uh, one of the two challenging uh, Barnsley players to win a, a throw-in. As we come up, 63 minutes, 40 seconds on the clock. Barnsley nil, Sheffield United 2. Civic heads it up in the air. Here's Moon. Uh, nice challenge from Osborne, who's played well second half. Got the assist for the second Moose goal. Uh, Sharp, I think that's his first touch. Comes short and knocks it off. It's back into central midfield. Norwood to Fleck. Uh, knocked through the front to Ndai. Helic does well to take it off him. Helic's right up the pitch now. Foul by Ndai on Helic. Excellent play by the big pole. Came out, won the ball, uh, stepped forward and wins a free kick. Good work um, by him. Incoming sharp hat trick. He'll do well with half an hour, but the way the game was going in... Um, particularly uh, minutes 50 to 60, um, not beyond the realms of possibility, I have to say. Uh, Alistair, we've got the ball chance from Barnsley fans. Oh, dear. The bar is low. Uh, Corley Woodrow is lining up a free kick, which is about 32 yards out. Oh, good effort, actually. Um, good line on it, just too much in the way of height. And I mean, in deference to Woodrow, after that brilliant uh, free kick he scored away at Stoke for Barnsley, you wouldn't blame him for having a pop. And um, I hate to stick the boot in on poor old shot, but you don't really see how else Barnsley is scoring um, in this one today, do you? We said at half time, mistake or a bit of quality. Um, no, we didn't. We said mistake or set play for, for either side, frankly, and it was a bit of quality from Lee Smuse for the first goal. And then um, heads dropped, um, chins up uh, from uh, the converse point of view from Sheffield United. And uh, they went on to get the second goal. There's one over the top. Easy for Brad Collins. And Kitching steps out, knocks that long. Um, Stevens does well to get away with a high foot there. Um, Barnsley continue the attack. Cole down the right hand side. Cole crosses into the near post. Woodrow's there. Woodrow knocks it back. Moon! Oh, he's hit the post. Oh. 
When your luck's not in, your luck's not in. Um, the cross came in from the right. Woodrow did well, knocked it back to Jasper Moon. He drove the shot from the angle, hits the outside of the post. Not sure Olsen was getting there. He threw himself across the goal. Um, but Barnsley, yeah, just can't score for love nor money, can they, at the moment? And uh, they hit the post, uh, the Tykes. I think we're getting another substitute, which, uh, due to the ludicrous uh, red button coverage, I can't tell you what it is. I think we just had a substitution. Uh, we'll find out when the camera pans back to halfway. I can see David McGoldrick on the pitch. <laughs> So he's come on. Oh, Billy Sharp chasing through Collins. Um, I cannot see Ilman and Dai. So let's say McGoldrick for Ndai. And it looks like McGoldrick is going to play inside right. Uh, he had that brilliant cameo, Dave McGoldrick, didn't he? Against Stoke. There you go. I remembered in the end uh, where he came on as sub, got a goal and an assist. Can he do the same today? Here's Osborne. Osborne floats it to the back post. McGoldrick touches it across goal. How has that not gone in? Um, somebody threw themselves at it. It might have been John Fleck actually arriving from midfield. It was a lovely touch across. You knew as that was in the air that McGoldrick would deliver something across the goal. You fancy if it was Billy Sharp in position to be on the end of that, he would have scored, but he'd just uh, come off for the cutback. And Fleck couldn't quite dive in header and get there. 68-10 on the clock. Barnsley nil, Sheffield United 2. Britain flights into the back post, headed away by Egan. Uh, driven in by Britain. Oh, my goodness me. What a miss. Oh, Barnsley. It's just an atrocious miss by Devante Cole. Um, Styles, it was, drives it across the box. Oh, it's a terrible miss. Open goal. Um, for Devante Cole. And if you're Marcus Shop, you've just seen your side hit the post with a fairly decent effort by, I can't remember who it was, Jasper Moon. And then, oh dear, uh, Devante Cole slides in on the back post and misses an open goal. Hell of a miss. I wonder how Marcus Shop will reflect on those two chances if. Ultimately, he doesn't survive this result. <laughs> Olsen had it covered. <laughs> George, he really didn't. <laughs> I think you know he didn't, though, judging by the emojis. Uh, John, Blades are giving him chances again. Yeah, half chance for the first one, but huge chance for Devante Cole um, there. And yes, an open goal, really, and he slides in. Takes his eye off the ball, any kind of contact that's any way decent, and he scores that, and he puts it wide at the post. Again, never want to go in hard on a on a player. We know they're all given of their best, but bad miss that one. Bad, bad miss. <laughs> his Barnsley is attacked full of Timo Werner's. It looked like it there, although Timo Werner will just wave his Champions League winners medal at you, I guess, won't he? Now there's a foul by. Um, I can't see on that far side. I think it's um, Bulldog, yeah. Uh, Bulldog fouled. Helic possibly there. We all fall down. Uh, that one's into Woodrow, who's surely offside, yeah. Um, and Woodrow frustratedly uh, boots the ball away. Uh, referee Ward, who's um, had a good game actually today, referee Ward, hasn't he? Um, shows some empathy and doesn't book Woodrow for smashing the ball away. Uh, Steve, we are way too open at the back. It's every game. 2 0 today does not impress me. There are cracks everywhere. There are indeed. Um, certainly, look, the first chance was a half chance, but um, Devante Cole most definitely um, should have um, scored. Yeah, Ben, you're right. The neck is. Do you know what it is? It's that. Um, this screen is ahead of this screen, so I'm going with this screen. But I'm trying to stay central, but I'll, I'll give it a rest after I've done this. Um, big goal kick forward. 
uh, or restart rather as a free kick from Olsen. Uh, Falls to uh, Bulldog. Here's McGoldrick. Lovely ball by McGoldrick to Bulldog. Bulldog cuts it back. Osborne. 3 0. And that is it, most certainly, for this game. And that's probably it for Marcus Sharp, isn't it? Um, it's been uncomfortable viewing, frankly, since it went 1 0 because uh, Barnsley have just got utterly no confidence. Uh, ben Osborne has probably just nipped in front in the man of the match um, vote here. I would have thought with that goal, he's played ever so well. Second half. And again, it's a real bit of quality from David McGoldrick, who uh, frankly has never had any pace through his career. Everyone said if that guy had pace, he'd play in the Premier League for 10 years. He's got all of the skill you, you, know, you can imagine. He just first time slides that in behind. For Bulldog, Bulldog cuts it back. It's good from Osborne. He takes a touch, takes his time, sets himself. The corner's open and he just fires it. In Barnsley nil, Sheffield United three. And the question I would put to the chat now is, can Marcus Schott survive this now? It's going to be one win in 14. It's a heavy defeat on the way. There's still 18 minutes to go. Um, it could get worse um, and I think I'm with the um, Blades fans. Get Brewster on from a Sheffield United point of view. Get him some goals, I think. Uh, we're going to get a Barnsley sub, though. Um, Kitching is coming out. And I think Honda Mark is coming on. Now, Moon has been played in centre half. We'll see where Honda Mark goes. Yeah, he's gone to play in midfield. Um, so I assume Moon will drop back to centre half, uh, where he does normally play, to be fair. Um, and Honda Mark is on in central midfield for Barnsley. Um, that is, and it's only the second sub after Devante Cole came in for Victor Adebayo, and unfortunately for Cole. Missed a glaring chance at 2-0. And go figure, it's now 3-0. A free kick, Barnsley, which Callum Britton's going to take. Everybody's forward. Can they get on the score sheet at least, Barnsley? They should off with that cold chance. Uh, remember, Moon hit the um, post just before. But with that free kick, no, um, it's all cleared. Uh, Julian, next second coming up. Seems fairly likely, um, doesn't it? Uh, Osborne, you beauty. Can't imagine a more popular scorer. Um, yeah, he's probably going to be man of the match, I would um, imagine. Uh, Osborne played very well in this second half. Uh, Lise Mousset had a golden five minutes and then got subbed, didn't he? So... Um, McGoldrick, year's contract, what a quality sign-in. Um, I think one of the Barnsley players, maybe Woodrow, was complaining about the quality of training at the club. Never a good sign. Not when it's the club captain as well, um, isn't it? Oh, here is Gomez. Good block by... Um, there's two good blocks, actually, by Ben Davies. That's excellent. He blocks the first one and then springs up to his feet, John Terry style, and throws himself at the second one. Uh, corner for Barnsley, who uh, may be famous last words, but he just looked destined not to score um, today. In comes uh, Woodrow from the corner, headed away. Osborne is trying to send Sharp away. Good ball by Osborne, actually. Is Sharp on halfway? Sharp trying to big switch of play to McGoldrick. Lovely ball, all unlucky. Uh, McGoldrick still got it, though. He tried to play Norwood in first time. McGoldrick to Sharp. The two old-timers having a lovely old time here. Um, Sharp tries to cross it in, though. Um, it was Sharp switch to play. McGoldrick tries to cushion it through to the on-running um, Ollie Norwood from deep central midfield. You never saw that under Wilder. Um, oh, it's knocked back by Cole. Gomez chance. Big block there. Um, was there a handball shout? 
Um, do you know what? I think it does hit John Egan's arm. The offside was flag. Flag was up. Egan turns sideways on. So I would say um, the arm not in an unnatural position there. Sideways on uh, Egan. Um, but the offside flag went up, so it wouldn't have been a penalty either way. Here's Osborne in the 10. Step over from Osborne. Uh, Osborne driving into the box here. Crosses right footed. Easy one for Collins. Collins bowls it out to Britain, who's holding his arms out, saying, give me an option. Uh, long it goes uh, to... Um, when did they bring Isaka on? I didn't even notice that happening. To Isaka. Uh, Styles dribbles it in. Here is Cole. And Cole has made it 3-1. And that was a far, far more difficult chance than the open goal he missed. He finishes it off really well. Styles crosses it in. Um, it pings up and Cole smashes um, the ball in. It's 3-1. Barnsley 1, uh, Sheffield United 3. Uh, Cole, in some way, shape or form, um, redeeming himself. Uh, forgive me, I hadn't noticed that um, Isaka had come on due to our fabulous uh, red button coverage we are receiving here. So, um, yes, forgive me. Um, Isaka is on and I'll try and figure out um, who for. I think Frisa, to be honest. And it's uh, Frisa, uh, sorry. It's Isaka, Cole, and uh, Woodrow up top. 3-1 in this one. Barnsley 1, Sheffield United 3. Cole gets on the score sheet after missing an open goal. Uh, thank you, Phil. I think we managed to, um, I think we managed to figure it out in the end, but um, thanks for the heads up, my friend. Uh, here is Bulldog. And it's back with Moon. Uh, 78, 48 gone in this one. Now, the Barnsley goal would make things um, interesting, wouldn't they? Uh, Britain crosses to the back post. They won't get one with service like that, unfortunately. Claudio Gomez is telling everyone, get forward, get forward. Um, looks like someone's maybe had a few too many sherbets in the Barnsley end and being escorted out by the police um, there over in the corner. Uh, thrown down the line by a Bulldog. And Sheffield United would do, do well just to take the sting out of the game now, which it appears Bulldog is trying to do. Uh, hooked away by Civic, one back by Stevens. Uh, Norwood gets robbed in midfield by Hondermark. Good sliding challenge by Ollie Norwood, though, and the ball's just hoiked forward by. Uh, ben Davis cleared long by Collins. We're into the last 10 minutes of um, normal time. Britain arriving. And I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. The ball was airborne. Uh, Britain arrives onto it. And he kind of doesn't shoot or cross with that one. And Half volleys it and just floats it over the bar. <laughs> oh, it was Nat that got escorted out of the ground, was he? Uh, there's a forest team for us. Thank you, Delayed Pilot. Samba, Worrell, Figueredo, McKenna, uh, Spence and Lowe, the wingbacks there. Yates, Colback, the Zinkan, Argyll, Johnson, Grab. And anyone got a Fulham team uh, for us in the chat, guys? That would be um, a lovely, lovely help. Um, he had a human rights flag, did he really? Or are we being silly? Uh, forgive me, I've got no idea. Uh, free kick to Barnsley uh, goes long. Britain heads down. Here's Cole chasing into the corner. 
Cole cuts it back. Uh, Stevens with the clearance, um, which Marcus Shop catches and throws back to um, Honda, no, Sib, excuse me. And Callum Britton is going to take the throw. Uh, little knockoff there. Here is Honda Mark. Isaka gets it out of his feet. All oh, dribbles through. Isaka has scored. Oh, poor defending by Sheffield United. It was one of those where um, sort of Fleck and uh, Bulldog left him to each other. Egan comes across to try and make the challenge. And uh, Barnsley are not going down without a fight, actually. It's Barnsley 2, Sheffield United 3. Um, and, you know, I'll hold my hands up. I said, I've got no idea how Barnsley is scoring in this game. And, um, yeah, very loose um, from Sheffield United here to have this go back to 3-2 uh, now. They were totally, totally in control. And um, we've had two goals now for Barnsley, one from Cole, one from Maseka. Uh, give Marcus Shop some credit um, in a rare moment of credit. Uh, both uh, both his um, substitutes have scored. And it is Barnsley 2, Sheffield United 3. Um, and, oh, my God, what are they doing here? Um, they're having a nightmare updating the little score box on, on the red button on Sky. I think they've got the, um, the reserve crew in running this one. But we thank them for their coverage nonetheless. Um, and it's Barnsley 2, Sheffield United 3. If they don't win this game, Sheffield United, their fans are going to be furious. Uh, here is Osborne to Sharp. Sharp's cross is charged down by Toby Sibick. Barnsley 2, Sheffield United 3. The plot, um, the plot thickens. Sharp, what a manager, hey? I've <laughs> got to give him some credit for getting something right, hey? Obviously, the mitigating factor is he conceded three goals before the two subs. But what are you going to do, hey? Um, silly offside there for Sheffield United. Now, all of a sudden, the Barnsley uh, players are uh, running around trying to um, trying to move things quickly. Thank you, Delayed Pirate. Uh, Rodak, Adoy, Adrabio, Reem, Robinson, Seri, Kearney, um, DCR. I don't know who that is. Wilson, Cabano, Mitro. Um, Decor Dover Reed, I see what he's done. Um, there you go. <laughs> um, who, who just said that? I think I'm quitting football if this draws. Well, let's see um, what happens. Uh, taking Moose off was a stupid decision. We will see if that turns out. To be the case. Here's Dave McGoldrick in the right back area, um, helping out. <laughs> Lovely bit of skill by McGoldrick trying to roll it and then back heel around his man. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have the pace to then run past Callum Styles. And it's a free kick to Barnsley. Can they force one big chance at 3 2? And can they take it? Uh, Matt, I will also quit football if this draws. I bet you guys won't. You'll just be unhappy for a day or two. <laughs> uh, Collins out of his goal and boots that one down the ground. And it looks like I just saw um, Chris Basham Hold up three fingers. He's about to come on, which means perhaps um, they are going to a three at the back. Who would have thought it? Sheffield United playing three at the back. Uh, who's coming off? Is that McBurney trudging over very slowly? I think it is. And Basham is on. Basham arriving, literally, onto the pitch. And they're going to go three at the back to try and see this one out. So Basham on. I assume um, Osborne will tuck in in sort of left central midfield and McGoldrick will go up top with Sharp. Either way, it's now Davies, Egan and Basham as a back three with Bulldog and Stevens As a wing-backs... 
86, excuse me. Sorry, that came through quite loud, I suspect. Me elbowing the table there. Um, 86.23 on the clock here. I understand we're about 45 seconds behind the real world. As Barnsley look to complete a very impossibly unlikely um, fight back. It's not impossible at all now, um, is it? Uh, here is Civic. Britain wins it back in midfield. There's a foul on Britain, surely. Uh, referee lets go a not very convincing advantage there. Fleck had fouled. Uh, oh, no, he's pulled it back. He has had a good game, referee Ward. I'm not sure how Flex got through this game without getting booked, um, to be honest. He's had four or five clever um, little fouls. And Britain is going to knock the three kick in. And it goes back post. Big header by Basham. I think that's his first touch. And Bulldog boots that one down the line. It's going to be a throw in to Barnsley down the left-hand side. Uh, do I think Shot will be sacked even if we draw this game? Do they give him another week and another three games? Remember, Ipswich was doing that with Paul Hurst. He beat Swansea before an international break. Um, and they kept him in the job, and then he lost the next three games, and then they sacked him. Um, I don't know. His job security levels are not high. Um, put it that way. There's one over the top, which uh, Collins comes out and clears into the Barnsley technical area. And it's a throw in which Ender Stevens will take his sweet time. Um, and add on. 88.33. Uh, Tom's asking how long will be added. Not that long, I would have thought. Four minutes tops, but maybe three. I don't remember much in the way of actual stoppages. I know people make up these rules about a minute per goal or 30 seconds per goal and 30 seconds per sub as they're in very informal rules. Go and read the laws of the game. There's nothing about that in there. Uh, Fleck with a ostentatious back pass there um, from outside his box on the volley. Maybe not the one when things might be a bit in squeaky bum time. But they've got it clear nonetheless. It's going to be a throw in to Barnsley. Uh, just inside the attacking half, Britain throws it down the line. Woodrow tries to flick it on. It's going to be a blades throw. And we are just about to find out um, how much stoppage time um, there is. Do I need to put someone in the... Um, yeah, I'll block that guy. He's been irritating for the last 10 minutes, hasn't he? There we go. He's gone, guys. Remember, 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 treat spammers like streakers. We ignore them. We take the camera off them and then they're gone before we know it, hey? Uh, here is Iseka. We're into stoppage time now, by the way. I don't know whether the red button is going to tell us how many minutes we've got. I don't know if anyone's heard from uh, Twitter um, how many minutes stoppage time there will be. Obviously, our beautiful red button coverage is telling us absolutely diddly squat. Here comes Osborne, though, down the left-hand side. Osborne puts it into the middle, cleared out. And Sheffield United managing this much better now since they went to the back three. Uh, they've kept the ball and um, they've not been anywhere near as loose. Uh, Stevens flips it into the corner. Again, I have no idea how much stoppage time. Everyone's saying six in the chat. That seems ridiculous. Um, I've got no idea why they've come up with um, six minutes um, for this one. But there we go. 
Here is Stevens with the throw in. We are one minute and 15 on my feed um, into uh, stoppage time. Again, I'll reiterate, we're on the red button, so we're probably 45 seconds behind the real world. Norwood out to McGoldrick on the right wing. McGoldrick. Bulldog gets on side. Bulldog back to McGoldrick. They don't stick the ball in the box. They try and keep the ball. Um, they do give it away. Then they win it back. Then they give it away. Then they win it back. Then they give it away. And now Barnsley have it. A little bit messy in the corner there. Uh, here's Hondemark driving forward. Can he get Cole in down the right? He cannot. Uh, the ball breaks back to Civic on halfway. We are two minutes on my feed into four minutes of stoppage time. Uh, that one's clipped into the box by Barnsley. Nobody there on the back post. Bit of a giveaway. And Robin Olsen will be able to kill uh, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 seconds of injury time. <laughs> Shop held six minutes up. <laughs> there you go, fourth official. It's six. Take this one. Uh, Barnsley 2, Sheffield United 3. We've got about three minutes of six minutes stoppage time to go. Here is Stevens in the left back position. Uh, clipped into the channel. McGoldrick, good touch as you'd imagine. McGoldrick, little step over, takes it into the corner. 93.10 on the clock in my feed. Uh, the real world may be about 45 seconds ahead, we think. Here's Cole uh, driving forward. Cole's done well. Cole, oh, he did well in the build-up. And Olsen uh, confidently holds up his hand and just comes out and grabs the ball. It goes down the ground and given straight back to uh, Brad Collins. We are now uh, 93 minutes 52 on my feed. So we think we're four minutes into six minutes injury time. Uh, headed away to Osborne, who sticks it up the line. Collins again out on sweeper keeper duty. Uh, it's Brentford nil, Leicester one, by the way, in the Premier League. We're about one minute and 40 seconds left of the minimum added stoppage time. It's long again from Barnsley, headed away. Gomez knocks it forward to uh, Cole. Britain's out there on the right wing. And Britain has forced a corner. Woof. Keeper coming up for this one, I wonder. We've got about one minute and six seconds of minimum stoppage time remaining. Barnsley have a corner. Uh, Collins is up. Oh, in it goes to the back post. Moon gets the header. Um, he's very tightly marked and he heads it down and wide. There's about 30 seconds of minimum stoppage time left in my feed. Olsen is taking his time to take this goal kick, which he will kick as far away from his goal as possible. I'm not looking at the chat. I am aware um, we're 45 seconds behind the real world. Um, not a lot we can do about it on red button duty. About five seconds left on my feed. Sharp goes through. Good goalkeeping by Collins. Could have been a very, very late goal. And referee Ward blows for full time. 
Barnsley two, Sheffield United three. And after an incredibly boring first half, we get five goals in the second half. Lise Mousse, um, a real good bit of quality, actually, on 51 minutes from uh, Ben Osborne's feed, comes in, cuts inside and smashes um, the opening goal in to the far post. Um, Barnsley's head drop, heads drop uh, collectively, and Mousse um, gets the second one from another Ben Osborne assist on 53 minutes. Um, Sheffield United then have another two chances um, to go three, four, nil up, whatever you want to call it, um, not long after. Really um, sort of collapsed by Barnsley in this game. Uh, Moussa comes out and Sharp comes in and Dai comes out. McGoldrick comes in. Uh, Barnsley then hit the post and Devante Cole misses an absolute sitter for an open goal. Then um, McGoldrick um, plays through Bulldog, who knocks it back to Osborne, who sticks it in for 3-0. Um, and then um, uh, Sheffield United get very, very loose. And um, first of all, Cole um, scores. Uh, a far more difficult finish than the open goal he missed. And then Iseka dribbles through and scores. But in the end, um, Barnsley didn't force any chances whilst the game was at 3-2. And um, as much as Blades fans, uh, not very pro Jukanovic at the moment, a sensible substitution from Jukanovic to go three at the back. And um, once Basham was on, they controlled um, things fairly well. Uh, get your final comments in on that one. Quick look at the league table before, obviously, Forest kick off at 3 p.m. Um, Sheffield United are up into 14th. Two wins in three. They're very, very spotty with their form, though. Not many draws recently and just a little bit all over the place, um, frankly, aren't they? Uh, so Sheffield United up to 18 points from 14 games. The Blades fans will want more from their squad as a year one parachute club than that. But hey-ho. Um, uh, Barnsley are down in the relegation zone still. Another defeat. I don't know how many that is on the trot. That probably goes past, I think it might be six or seven, past the five defeats that you can see on that form chart. And um, again, ifs, buts and maybes. Um, uh, if Derby, you know, weren't a mess off the pitch, Barnsley would be bottom of the league. Woof. Uh, full-time in the game, full-time in shops, Barnsley career. Could well be. Uh, Barnsley in dangerous water now. Have been for a few weeks now, haven't they? Um, am I doing Forest Fulham? I am not. No, my neck is not going to let me do that. So there we go. Um, there'll be lots of goals at Forest. We'll see how that one pans out. Lots of goals already in the first one. Great result for Blades. Uh, ben, we'll take three points from this. Absolutely. Um, always take the three points. Uh, good win for you. Uh, says Phil. John, lucky win in the end. I'm not sure I agree with that, um, John. It could have, should have been very, very comfortable. Yes, the two goals came, you know, went in. But um, at 3-2, Barnsley didn't have any chances, um, did they? Um, still a shambles at the back. It's a shame, but Bulldog, Stevens and Egan aren't up to it. Egan as well. Interesting. Uh, Philippe, uh, thankfully, we managed to win it, but had horrible flashback to the 3-3 against Villa. I was at that game. Um, fully indeed. Uh, Sheffield United's defence remains dodgy, almost allowed a wreck of a team to get a draw. Um, surely shot gone. Um, what else are we saying? Um, when we bought Egan Bullock and Stevens' opposition fans said they are dodgy at defending. Uh, Simon, 37 points keeps you up at this rate. Does it? Really? I'm not so sure about um, about that. Well, I suppose on the argument that a few teams aren't at a point per game, I suspect they will be at a point per game. And if 37 points keeps you up this season, then three teams will have had an utterly, utterly terrible um, season. The um, average for 24th place over the last 10 years is 34.7. The average for 23rd place is 41.2. Uh, 22nd, 44.2. So the 10-year average says 45 to survive. But you never know. You could have uh, three teams get deductions and a few people 
Um, you know, the um, the S to hit the fan, but um, there we go. Um, let's have a little look. Um, people saying thank you here. Thanks, Sanir and Gordon and uh, Ollie. Um, and uh, we will see you tonight at 7 p.m. for the full review. I'll go and rest my neck maybe in the bath, actually, to be fair. Um, I've got to do a few more. Um, woof. I've got to do a few more um, bits of writing between now and then. But uh, yes, thank you all for watching. And it's a lovely big over and out from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to see more videos from this channel. Hit the subscribe button and to be notified every time we upload. Ring the bell for those notifications to come through on your device. If you really want to support the channel and me as a content creator, I'll be eternally grateful if you head over to the merch store and grab something or support over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. Thank you for your time. Go watch another video.